Oklahoma State Senator Joseph Silk recently defended a bill that would discriminate against gay people under the guise of, of course, religious liberty. Now, Representative uh, or Senator Silk thinks that gay people actually don't want us to have liberty so that reducing their liberty will protect ours. Let's listen to what he had to say on Brian Fisher's focal point earlier today. I tell people this all the time. The LGBT activists do not want people to have freedom. They do not want people to have be able to exercise their religious convictions. They don't at all, and people really don't understand that. I'm encouraging the church to, to take a stand and get vocal about this, and we can get vocal about this in a non-hating way. Because this is about freedom, this is about religious liberty, but and, and they want their behavior condoned, and they want their behavior accepted. This is about freedom. My freedom to discriminate against you. Freedom. I don't know if that really uh, is the definition of freedom. Discrimination? Not necessarily freedom. One person's freedom is another person's, I don't know, discrimination kind of a problem. But notice how he says that gays want their behavior condoned, and they want their behavior accepted. Uh, yeah, they kind of want to be accepted for who they are. Beyond that, they don't really want anything else. They want to be treated like, I don't know, equal people under the law. And we have something called the Constitution that backs that up. Equal protection under the laws. But no, these people are trying to claim that yes, we can discriminate because our religion says so. But you have to understand, and people like uh, Joseph Silk don't, is that their religious liberty, their, idea, their ability to practice their religion, and I would never infringe upon that, but their idea of practicing their religion is actively discriminating against someone else. And his religious liberty ends... When it, impacts, when it impacts someone else's liberty. And this is the thing that these people don't understand. Their religious liberty does not mean that they have the liberty to take rights and to keep other people from having the same rights as they do. This is why they continue to fight. And besides, he also mentioned, we want to do this in a non-hating way. Well, wait a minute. We want to discriminate in a non-hating way. By saying, you're gay, I'm not going to serve you. How is that not hateful? How could somebody who is being, uh, put yourself in the shoes of somebody who's just been refused service because of who they love? You're going to say that you might not feel like you're being hated upon? That people aren't judging you? That people aren't going after you because of who you are, the core of who you are? Non-hateful? Let's look at other activities that they probably consider not hateful. For example, telling somebody, because of who you are, because of the way that you were born, because of who you love, you're going to hell, and you're going to burn for eternity with hot pokey sticks being shoved up your arse and you know the devil tormenting you for all the rest of eternity and you're saying no that's not hateful I would say that that's pretty hateful and because my sky god my book magic book from the stone age says that that's wrong I can deny you rights and that's not hateful These people are being the most hateful people on the planet, and they're covering it with freedom.